Hello there, I've just been playing Joy Exhibition, a game where you actually make art in a gallery, except for aliens on a spaceship flying endlessly across a strange, simple, geometric landscape. But it's a video game, so of course you make the art with guns. Strange alien guns that don't do what you want them to, or what anyone would, would want them to do. And it got me thinking. It got me thinking about art. And not whether or not games are art, but in the actual production of art. Painting. Now, I don't know if you've ever painted before, but there are a variety of different things that you can paint with. You can paint with brushes, you can paint with acrylics, you can paint with oils, you can paint with a palette knife. But until you know how to do it, with whatever medium you're using, painting can be very frustrating. Palette knives just spread things all over the place. They're unwiggledy, they're strange, they're difficult to master. And that's what this game reminds me of. You're presented with these blank canvases and given a set of tools that you don't understand, and then you sort of just make a mess. But through layers and layers of experimentation through mess, you eventually start to get something coming together that catches your eye, something that pleases you somehow. And so you pick up another tool and you just try and add the finishing touch. Ah, no, no, it's, it's ruined again. Because, you see, this is where the analogy here with painting comes to an end. And for me, Joy Gallery reminds me an awful lot of what it's like trying to make games. You have all of these strange and wonderful, unpredictable tools at your disposal, but every time you try and use one, it doesn't really do what you think it will. But you keep experimenting, you keep playing, you start to understand how these tools work. You start to use them in a way which is unusual. You start to have these experimental phases where things happen that you don't expect and you kind of like them. And through this imprecise process of creating these layered, muddy depths of mess, you eventually end up making something that you just wouldn't have made if you'd had control in the first place. Joy Gallery, for me, feels like a reminder that it's okay to be frustrated when you don't have the finesse that you want. You don't have a tool here that allows you to undo mistakes. You can't wipe the canvases clean by clicking a button. You just keep trying and trying until it feels right. But it never gives you the tools you need to create the images you have in your mind. Here's me trying to draw an eye, something as simple as an eye. And then just, I can't, you can't, because it doesn't offer you the tools that you need to do things like that. What it does offer you, though, is a mental palette cleanser that almost feels like it's rubbing it in, stepping out of this strange gallery where these weird, colourful characters go around and watch you painting. And you can just look as you fly past these simple, perfect geometric landscapes. This endless sprawl of aesthetic elegance of a type that you just can't muster. But of course, through time and patience, you can. You can make things that are good. They're just not exactly what you envisioned. And the funny thing about this, and the thing that really reminds me of the whole important process of any form of creativity, is that sometimes the things you make in Joy Gallery are a horrible, ugly mess, but the process of watching them getting made is beautiful. The way the strange alien paint sprays out of these guns and flickers around and coils and does all of this beautiful Fibonacci bullshit is nice. And it doesn't matter if at the end of it you end up with this horrible brown canvas. The joy of watching this paint spiral out and the experimentation and learning to manipulate these horribly unwieldy tools in a way which is pleasing is half of the fun. So that's Joy Gallery. It's a pay-whatever-you-want indie title which is surprisingly enthralling and a good reminder of how much fun it is sometimes to be given tools that you don't understand and can't properly use. Go and have a paint, it's like finger painting, but with aliens. And that's nice! <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this strange little ramble about painting and art and aliens with finger paints. If you have enjoyed this, you can go over to coolghost.net and maybe share your thoughts about the game, or share your thoughts about painting. Have you ever done any finger painting with an alien? If you have, you should tell, you should tell NASA. Bye!